What's up guys, it's your boy Stomp, and welcome back to another Critical Ops Strategy Guide. Today, we're going to go over the best grenade throws on the map, Bureau. If you've been keeping up with the series so far, you'll know how this video is going to go down. And with that said, let's get into it. Bureau is a non-traditional four-square map layout, where the Coalition has direct access to A site and to the back of B site through vents. It's a CT-sided map, yes, I know, we all know. The Breach has a difficult time getting to each site, since you need to go through passport checkpoints, since the sites are on the other side of the FUCKING PLANET! Anyways, it is more difficult to take A site as the Breach, since there is no real cover until you get to servers, which is the room with the two boxes. B site is an easier site to take, since there are two points of entry on the Breach side, rather than just the one going to A. And you also have more cover going through mid. However, it is still difficult to get to B site through mid, since the coalition gets to mid before the breach does. This is where good grenade throws come into play. If utilized correctly, these smokes of flash throws will make a huge impact when taking each site, as well as retaking them if you're the coalition, of course. Let's start with the breach and their throws. Going A site, there is a smoke and a flash you can throw right as you're entering banana. For the flash, you're going to do a running jump throw while aiming above the second painting from the right as you're rounding the corner. If you can't perform this, you can do the same throw from the right side of the second elevator looking into banana. Make sure you are aiming above the painting while you're running, and once you reach the corner, jump throw. The smoke can be done in quick succession from the flash, and it will smoke out intel, the room with all the monitors. Just stand in front of the chair on the right, aim at the top of the entrance of intel, and jump throw. In servers, there's a flash you could throw from in front of the white pillar on the right side that will flash the player that camps the corner next to the big server. Just look up at the light while standing in front of the white pillar and jump throw. You can also do it while running, but it takes some skill to actually do it. I have a hard time doing it. Sometimes I even don't do it. But other than that, it's a great flash. You should do it. It is the best flash. Probably one of the best flashes in existence of this game. The smoke throw is a bit tricky to get to since you have to cross over and get behind the big server to throw it. To perform this throw, stand in front of the screen, turn and look at the doorway that leads into lounge, Tap the joystick to the left to get full view of the doorway. Aim at the wood paneling inside of the door. Look up to the light right above the door frame and jump throw. For post plant smokes, place one either at server connector or server entrance. If necessary, you can re-smoke the entrance to lounge if it hasn't already dissipated. Now, going B. I noticed while practicing that there are no good flash throws to get into sight unless an entrance or choke point is blocked off by a smoke grenade. I'm not saying you can't flash in, I'm just saying you're gonna die trying. Now going to be from mid, there's a smoke you can throw from the entrance of mid that will break the line of sight with the coalition getting into B sight. As you are running into mid, aim above the glass and throw slightly to the right. Now, there's a smoke flash combo to get into B site. Throw the smoke flash combo to get into B site, squish yourself between the blinds and the wall, aim halfway above the left corner of the painting on the right, and jump throw. Now you gotta wait two seconds for your smoke grenade to deploy. Then, run to the top of the stairs, aim halfway up the door frame and to the right, and jump through the flash. Going to B site from B long, there's a smoke flash combo that can be thrown to stop the coalition from advancing up into B site entrance. You will throw the flash first, then the smoke, since the flash is the one that will initially slow down their push. The flash is just a running jump throw while lining up with the lights on the ceiling. You will then need to quickly set up for your smoke throw. 
line up on the second line next to the plant and on the edge of the tiles. Look up to the fourth light from the pillar and throw. To throw the smoke flash combo to get into B site from B long, squish yourself in between the first plant and the wall. Turn and aim at the right corner of the light fixture as shown and throw. Now wait about two seconds and then squish yourself between the second plant and the wall. Turn and line up your crosshair the exact same way you did for the first one and then jump throw. And those are all the smokes and flashes for the breach. Now let's get into the coalition side of things. To delay the push to A site, there are two things you can do. You can either flash from Intel or you can smoke from servers. To throw the flash from Intel, stand next to the trash can, or me in this case, aim above the center consoles at the first cross on the left above the door, then jump throw. To throw the smoke from servers, stand in the middle of the big server, look at the corner of the door frame leading into L, and jump throw. To delay the push to B site, you can do one of four things. A running jump throw with a flash in mid, a smoke for B long entrance, a smoke to block mid entrance, or a smoke flash combo for B long. For the mid flash, make sure you are aiming just below ceiling level and don't throw the flash until you're on the platform. Otherwise, it'll just end up in the corner. For the B long entrance smoke, Run until you can only see the wood paneling that is next to the entrance. Aim above the three slabs of wood in the site and throw. For the mid entrance smoke, just step into the site, aim up at the wood trim and throw. Make sure you're standing close to the door frame as you're entering the site so that way you are close enough for the smoke to reach the entrance. For the smoke flash combo to be long, you will first throw the flash by standing next to the wood door post outside vents. Aim up at the left corner in the ceiling and jump throw. And as you are running up to be long, perform a running jump throw with the smoke grenade while aiming at the blinds above the door in be long. Now to retake B site, you will use the same smoke flash combos that the breach uses for B long and mid. To retake A site, you can use the same flash as the breach, but we are going to use the windows in Intel that I'm sure you have noticed. Oh, you haven't? Well then. There are two windows inside of Intel, with the left window entering into A site, and the right entering server. We're only going to be focusing on the left window since it's the one that goes into A site. The flash you could throw while looking at the window is on the right side of Intel. Squish yourself in between the desk and the wall. Line up your crosshair with the rightmost light fixture and the light inside of A. Then jump throw. The smoke, while still looking at the window, is on the left side of Intel, and it's used to block off server and A site. Jump on the top of the desk, back up into the corner. Aim at the right side of the middle fixture under the window, and up to the middle light in A site, to then jump throw. Now, from experience, if your whole team is caught on one bomb site, and the breach hasn't advanced yet, they are probably taking the other site and have already planted the bomb. It would probably be best if you took up a position somewhere in mid or just outside of bomb site, so it is easier to rotate and pick up trades or take back the bomb site. As for the breach, going towards Intel is a big no-no. It is the boundary between purgatory and hell if you get caught in the coalition's rotation. Believe me, I can't tell you how many times I have taken out most of the breach players coming to Intel. It is a bad idea, and so is going around B site to vents. And especially going to the right side of mid, where, get this, the coalition is camping. Huh. So there is another reason to grenade these spots. Or any spot, on any map for that matter. It's to tell the noobs not to go there. 
but they do anyways because they have no idea what they're doing. Unless they watch my videos, of course. Speaking of which, that's the end of the video. But before you go, could you leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the bell icon to see when I upload, and follow me on Twitter, at StumpDaddy, link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and in the final installment of this series, we will take a look at the best smokes and flashes on the map, Grounded. Stay safe. Bye-bye.